Genius are smart, but they're not the smartest. Errors can happen. Let us take this beautiful example. A bridge is an engineering marvel, but imagine that you have to have in a bridge maybe considering tanks for war or maybe an elephant has to pass. So what idea do they use for such unrealistic or maybe incidences that can happen? They have something called a safety margin. So civil engineers are smart. What they do is they design the bridge capacity which should be obviously equal to the load which it has to handle, but they add a safety factor to it. So example 1.5 times the load that the bridge has to handle. So for such unknown circumstances the engineers have already designed the bridge to hold such things same thing happens in the oil and gas world so for example for oil and gas we had learnt in the last video the part one of the video about mast right mast is basically the maximum actuator stem torque should always be less than the mast which is the stems capacity to hold that torque right but that's not enough you have to think that there are obviously three major points which you need to know for mast first is the point when it's just for a general service so as a thumb rule we can say that mast should be around 1.2 times of the actuator torque when usually the valve is put in general services but if it's used for heavy process duty like blow down etc you might have the mast going up till 1.5 times the actuator torque but when it's for exactly safety duty applications like shutting down the plant or maybe the liquid can go outside you might have the mast equal to twice the actuator torque so these are certain thumb rules that you need to keep in mind while designing your on off valve now what if your mast fails because you have so much high criteria maybe sometimes the safety factor goes to 2.5 times for that yes you do have a solution first solution is that you try to change the material if the mast is not able to be greater than the maximum allowable stem torque you try to change the material of the stem if that can work then obviously you have the solution to it the second thing is certain vendors have special actuators that can help you but you need to dig deep into it and be very sure that it can be accommodating it third is you have a special arrangement of regulators relief valves to do it but the final one is also be very sure that can the safety factor be reduced because sometimes maybe you don't need that exact 1.5 times you could make it 1.4 times depending on the safety criticality of the valve there's a free ebook that i have written and it's available completely free on my website you can have the link below it's in the comment section also if you would want to learn something new every week then please subscribe by specially pressing the bell icon so you can receive a new video every Saturday. Thank you and happy learning.